Let's say someone is chasing you. And of course, you don't want them to catch you. Obviously, there's no better way than to teleporting to another location, right? Let me show you how to do that in CapCut. For this, we need four different shots. In the first one, you should record yourself something like running towards the camera and jump high in the air. The second shot should be just a background of the place where you jumped before. It is very important that you record all the shots on a tripod so you don't change the position at all. The third shot should be the same as the second one but on another location. And the last one should be as you are landing in this new location, so jumping high again. Then import those shots into CapCut and drag them onto timeline in mentioned order. The first step we have to do is trim and cut the clips. We need to cut the first clip right at the moment where you are on the highest position, somewhere here. Let's cut it by pressing W, so we cut the right part of the clip. Then we only need a little piece of second and third clip, so we cut both like this. And the fourth clip, we need to cut it again when we are on the highest point and going down. But this time we will cut the left part by pressing Q on our keyboard. So right now, if we play it, we have this. It looks not bad, but we still need to add a few things. So the second step we need to do is add some effects. So let's go up to effects and in the search box type teleport. You can either go with explosion or butterfly dream, but I find the last one more suitable for this video. So move your playhead to the position you think the effect should start and drag the effect down. You can also set the atmosphere and speed if you want or need to. I will cut it right here and copy it where I appear again in the next location. What we can also do is add some thunder lightning effect. So type thunder and I will drag down this one which is called lightning crack. I will cut it here. Or extend it till here. As with other effects, we can also play with settings here. We have twist, filter, speed and stickers. The last and third step is to add some sound effects. The sound effects really change the whole video experience. So go up to audio, sound effects and type thunder. As you see, I already marked mine. Drop it down and position it on the right spot. Then copy it on the spot where you appear again on the other location. Because I don't want the sound to be too long, I will add a keyframe here. Move a few frames forward and drag down the volume and the keyframe will be created automatically. We also need a sound effect for our landing, so type heavy hit and find the one you like. Drop it down to the right place when you land. Now one more thing we can still add and that is a little shaking. Go up to effects and type shake. Drag the shake effect down. I will increase the speed to 60 and decrease the strength to 30. Then I will cut it here and copy it again to this position. And with that we finished our teleportation clip. Before we see the final result, do not forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss my next video. It means a lot to me. So let's have a look at our final result. <laughs> 